We're learning new information tonight about a fish kill that left 150,000 rainbow trout dead at a McDowell County hatchery. Three men were arrested Friday, and now it appears that anglers may not feel the impact of that loss in mountain streams. News 13's Ashley Searles spoke with mountain wildlife officials and has our continuing coverage. They're saying that the number of fish in area waterways like this one shouldn't go down this year. That is barring any other issues this fishing season, which lasts until November. Making up for this fish kill incident will sap the hatchery's buffer stock of trout, which they raise every year in case of drought or predation or disease in the area population. Staff said if one of those problems comes up, that is when anglers will notice fewer trout in the water. But officials say they'll, of course, do their best in any incident to keep numbers up. Because there's just so much, so many communities that rely on that, you know, not, not just fun for the people, but also economically, people depend on trout fishing to bring commerce into these small mountain communities. The Armstrong hatchery was able to use all of their buffered trout and then had to import some from a Brevard hatchery to keep up with stocking streams here at a regular level. Now, today I spoke with one of the three young men accused in this huge fish kill, 150,000 fish dead. And I asked him today, did you mean to do it? Did you know what you were doing? And he said, no, we had no idea. Reporting in McDowell County, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.